Alrighty, welcome back everyone, Scarlet here bringing you a new Neverwinter video, and it is that time of year again, as the title suggests, uh, we're talking about summer festivals, so we're in the mid-summer months, um, <clears throat> and summer festival is now live on all platforms, it goes until August 15th, and then we have the summer festival height. So there's a few new rewards that we're going to go over, etc. First and foremost, you're going to navigate over to the Trade Bar Merchant. Go down to the mounts. And the new legendary one is in here. The Beholder Rune Board. You're going to notice that price tag of 6,000 Trade Bars. Increase your base damage by 10%. Increase accuracy and crit severity by 10%. So, not too shabby, I guess. If you want to take a look at it. Let's move over to the daily currency. And we have the other new board, the rune board. So we have the hot now rune board, uh, mod 29. Obviously, we're in Mountain of Flame. So we have the hot now rune board. There you go. And then the other ones from previous years are in here. So we have the Clockmaker in here and the rune, just the normal rune board. If you navigate over to the Zen Market, everything should be on sale right now. Uh, or not yet, I guess. Uh, there will be sales coming. There always is. Uh, but if you go down to the mounts, the Radiant Rune Board will always be in here too. Mine's 100% off because I own it already. Um, but the Radiant Rune Board should be available for everyone right now as well if you missed out on that and you want to purchase it. All right, what else we got new? Let's go over here to the Fire Blossom Currency Vendor. So instead of giving us new fashion, uh, they gave us transmutes. We have the upper body paint shoreline scales and the lower body paint shoreline scales. Again, this is not fashion. These are transmutes for your shirt and pants. Uh, you're also going to notice that they are unbound. You can farm these, sell them later, do as you will. Uh, if we go ahead and put these on, again, like I said, just to reiterate, these are shirt and pants transmutes. They are not fashion. Um, and it's basically a big red dragon tattoo. Looks pretty cool, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, big old red dragon tattoo around your body. And then everything else is normal, nothing else new in here. So they did finally update the Saha Balls, but, I mean, they didn't really do a good job at it. But, hey, at least they updated it. So if we navigate over to the Saha Vendor, I believe they lowered some of the prices of the copper items, um, but nothing important. I think they lowered, like, this stuff here. Nothing else important. Uh, if we look at the silver tickets, uh, insignias, they now have legendary insignias you can buy with silver tickets. Uh, there are 120 silver tickets each, so whether you need insignia powder or you're still working on your insignias, now's a good opportunity to snatch a few of these. And then finally, the mithril tickets, they did update a little bit. Um, so the artifact raffle, I believe they added like the diamond pinned. The Fey Emblem, I don't think those were in there last year. I have no idea. The Mithilar, the Assassin's Dice, and Tentacle Rod. It's all garbage. It doesn't matter. Um, and then the Epic Raffle, I think they, they added like Toothsome, uh, the Spike Dionys, and the Decaying Stag. So the Legendary, they also updated. Uh, it looks like they put the Pegasus in here, the Dragonbone Golem, uh, the Ember Hulk, the Mykonid Boule, um, the Ebon Riding Lizard, the Radiant Rune Board, and the Slab of Vecna. So as it sits right now, I don't think you can even get the Slab of Vecna anywhere. The Slab of Vecna is not currently available, so if you're trying to get that, you know, best of luck to you. Uh, and then the Radiant Rune Board is a Zen Market exclusive. So... Mm, 
I could see, you know, crypt, what Cryptic's doing here. Uh, they have the Radiant Rune board for sale in the Zen market for players that missed out on it. It's an old mount. It's not a new mount skin. But they also put it in the mount raffle for a chance to obtain it. So that should have been a thing throughout the years, to be honest. I mean, these old mount skins uh, give free players the opportunity to at least have them on the loot table. This is like the first time this ticket vendor has been updated in like eight years. So it's an absolute disgrace. Uh, I believe none of these are account wide either. Uh, so they couldn't even be bothered to replace all the single use mounts to be account wide. Now I could be wrong. It might not just be listed as account wide, but I'm pretty sure they're not account wide mount skins. So it is what it is. Uh, 11 year old game you know this is we're, we're at 11 years now so i don't expect too much to be honest hey at least they updated it uh it took eight years for them to do it but hey they updated it i mean you're gonna notice i have 119 mithril tickets uh just because there's nothing i ever need out of these uh, i don't even do uh saha balls i haven't done saha balls in years um so these have just been accumulated over the years i guess i mean that's outrageous uh, the last time I did Saha Balls, I think, are when Mythic Insignias came out because I did do Saha Balls to buy a bunch of the epic ones at the time. These were lowered in cost, too. These used to be 100 uh, tickets. So, yeah. It is what it is, guys. That's the Summer Festival, all the normal events, as always. Uh, if you're a new player, uh, go ahead and do it. There's no reason not to do it. Lots of free items. Uh, event food is always good to stockpile. If you're a veteran player, not a whole lot for you. A couple new items to get. Shouldn't take you long to get. That's all I got for you folks. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and lean below. And uh, I'll see you guys real soon.